Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Kanga 1v1 Cup here on GameStar TV. My name is Kit Fox. I'm joined once again by Hades. And Hades, we're going into the losers bracket now. Who have we got? We've got Oz Rhino up against Gold Trek. Now, they've actually already played the first map, and Oz Rhino came out with the win there. Not sure on the score, but he's definitely one map up. So if he can close out this next one on the Mave, that sends him through to the next round. So we'll see how they go here. Now we saw uh, we saw a recurring theme on the Mave in the match that we just spectated, that, and that was the alts were just cancelling each other out completely. So I think one thing that both of these players can take away is that once you get that alt, that midnight up, as soon as you hit it, as soon as you have even a one percent advantage over your opponent, you want to be hitting it. Get that midnight on, take their vision away from them, and then go in for the kill. Yeah, I think it's actually a pretty big benefit for them because. They get to see the other ones, they get to see the streams before they had to play the Mave. And there's definitely a lot of tips being given out here, and they can see the mistakes that others make. Um, a couple of them was the ults, like I was mentioning. If you, use, if you get that ult first, if you get the first few kills, you should use it to confirm the third kill mm. before the, your opponent gets it. Well, let's see, uh, let's see if they are listening. Let's see if they're listening to Coach Hades. And, uh, well, let's see who's going to come out with the victory because I think there's one round after this and then the winner will be versing uh, Daddy DLS. So there's still quite a bit of 1v1 Paladins to go here. It's, these are the losers brackets are all best of threes as well, I believe. So obviously that's why we're here. So we've got uh, a fair bit coming still. Um, yep, and I actually just dropped another code in the Twitch chat. So yeah, yeah, well, jump on it, boys. What is this one for, Hades? Um, I don't know, some sort of rare skin. <laughs> I some got a ton of stuff that's, from that's, that's where you're at, Hades. You don't know what swag you've got, you just know that it's it's rare and people want it. In the okay. it's like 10,000 crystals and I just gave away a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is, is that possible? Do you have hundred dollars worth of crystals sitting there? Yes, actually, I do. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> Crap. Alright, so damn, there might be, uh... Might be some accidental crystals there, ladies and gents. There we go. Someone's got this already. So there we go. Purple Shepherd saying someone's got it already. And we don't even know what it is. That's the beauty of it. We will never know. Mystery box. Someone's going straight to the bank with that code. <laughs> Cashing this check right now. So ladies and gents, if you have just joined us, we are currently bullying our way into this one halfway through. It's Oz Rhino versus God Shrek. If you're wondering why Mave's on your screen, it's because round one Androxus was picked up by Oz Rhino. So we're over to Mave. We might go to Cassie. Who knows? I mean, we've already run it over time. Hey, as you said, this one will be finished at nine, man. You underquoted me. me. This is terrible. I'm kidding. I'm having a great time. The more esports we get in, the better. But having a look at this level advantage here, Godtrek is at 10. Oz Rhino is at 4. So I'm thinking Godtrek just may be able to get 15 seconds remaining. It's... We really 10, don't know, though. Nine, it's one of those eight, characters, like I said, seven, it's just totally different six, and not many people five, play it. Four, so if you haven't played three, it, two, which I don't think Oz Rhino has played it at all, the battle be, has begun. I'm really interested to see if he can pull this one out. Because if he can, it'll be going from not playing the, not only not playing the game at all, but playing a champion he's never played. <laughs> so let's see. Who's, ooh, Oz Rhino opens up the account with some good hits there. Pounce. Oh, it misses, and again from Oz Rhino. There it is. Lands it, and God Shrek already on the back foot. first blood. Picking up that first kill was big because I saw his play there, and it shows that he does actually know how to play Mave. So. It's a massive positive. So yeah, stats don't tell the full story. God Shrek now blows that prowl. Tries to go in close with the pounce, but ooh, misses it there. Oz Rhino taking a fair bit of damage. Oh, great pounce. One more dagger will secure it. Rhino just holding on. Barely. Oh, God Shrek needs to do his land one. Finally, he lands it. So, one minute, two rounds, one apiece on the scoreboard aids. Yeah, I can't believe he missed so many shots there when he was such low health. If you, if you continue to miss shots like that, then anyone can really make a comeback. If you would have played more aggressive, I think you would have been able to secure that kill. 
Oh, both one shot and he misses the shot. Godric peels that one away. There's a little bit of health. Able to bring the score to 2-1 in his favour. He brings it back. He has, uh, he's got a little bit more experience than Osrano does on the Maeve, like you mentioned. I mean, coming from a game um, <laughs> to, uh, to a very, very high-skilled hero, I mean... I'd be interested to see if he does come out with a victory here. I'd be rather is he'll I'd be equally amounts as impressed. Like let's not so let's not sugarcoat it. He'd be pretty uh he'd be up there because Maeve is very, very high tier play. Now, into the prowl. Will he connect? Yes, Godshot he gets one or two. Oh big play there, and Oz Rhino just gets absolutely deleted in midair there. Three one's also pretty big here. We've seen people get off to leads, and then this is about when you see popping around. He's not able to confirm another kill though, and goes to a three-point lead, four-one. And he's now just AFK in there, standing there waiting for him to come back. Greg now tries to throw it across court. Gets one, uh, gets one for his troubles. So. The vision do his thing now. Osrono tries to convert. Oh, Godshrek though, one dagger away from coming out with the frag here. One more will end it. Both of these guys just uh, have an absolutely none of it. They run away, they regenerate, and we're going to go back to where we started. Oh! Godshrek though comes out from underneath and uh, just gives Osrino the big don't argue. Now throws out the daggers and. Oh! He comes back and secures the kill though, so that was big there. He was at a disadvantage, but Oz Rhino managing to get the frag. Just lost heads, I think, a little bit there, ladies and gents. Apologies for that one, but they're still trying to duke it out now. It's 2v4 on the scoreboard. Godtrick with the advantage. Now, Midnight has been blown from both of these players, and that will just cancel each other out. They just bided their times now, so the ults on this one, pretty much null and void. You'd be wanting to hit that one as soon as you get it. Any one percentage of an advantage is going to be turning the tides in your favor here. Godtrick now on the back foot. And Oz Rhino, this is the start of the comeback train. 3 4. Hey, are you back with us? Yes, I'm here. Just in time for the Oz Rhino comeback. Let's see if he can make it happen. <laughs> he gets the first shot, he gets the second one. He's got the advantage here, but he's got to make a play. Looks like he doesn't have the healing card, and he gets outplayed by God Trick. That's, that's what it came down to. You need to be able to keep your plays going, keep the connecting shots. Just because you're ahead doesn't mean you can poke those corners and you just got punished for it. There's a few players in chat that are actually rather impressed here with Osrino, saying that, uh, you know, come from Overwatch, that Maeve is, uh, it's it's difficult and he's actually turning it up here, so well done to Osrino, even if you go down, you've won the hearts of the crowd so far, but it's not all over yet, I mean, it's 3-5 on the scoreboard, yes, he has got a disadvantage, you could argue that, but you could also argue that... You know, with that support behind him, he may actually come out on top here, and he's definitely not disappointing when it comes to gameplay. And now, will he come out with a frag? No, Godric just says no. There's 125 just one health. Yeah. One dagger was all stood between him and a frag there, but it's three to six on the scoreboard. Godric sitting pretty. I wonder if he can pull this out again though. They're playing a bit more carefully than the start. Osrino was diving a lot for the first... No, he's diving again. <laughs> Here he goes, jumping straight in. Ooh, trick answers. Oh, and gets the frag, so 4-6. It's all about who's more aggressive here. And uh, I'll tell you what, Osrino seems to be the, the, the one who is that. I mean, Godtrick's waiting and playing for the counter-style play here, and that's uh, it's winning most of the time here, but Osrino knows his strength, and that is getting the drop on his opponent. And already you can see Godtrick going, oh, he goes down! So it's 5-6 now. At the start, he wasn't getting rewarded for contesting and playing aggressive, but the last couple kills have shown that if you can just hit those first shots, then it pays off. If you dive in hit those shots, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. He hits them. Once again, but can he just... It's another one. He needs to use that Midnight. I mean, that's where Osrino has the advantage here. He needs to blow that one now, and there it is. The lead has been squandered. 5-7, and by the time he runs back here, Godshrek's pretty much going to have a Midnight of his own. There goes the advantage. He used his dash not to finish off the kill, but to reposition, and it worked out perfectly for him there. 
Ach, nerv. As I mentioned, there's the double counter alt. They're both just sitting in the dark. Not much you can do there. <laughs> exactly sitting in the dark. Now the daggers are coming out here from Oz Rhino. He throws two, misses them both. Godshrek throws one and, and connects. So I just goes to show you who's got the better aim here at the moment. So Godshrek now just still sitting back, sitting pretty. Oz Rhino needs to come to him. Remember that. There's still three and a half minutes left. Sorry, three minutes and 18 seconds left on this topic at the moment. The pounce misses, but regardless, Oz Rhino gets taken down. And Godshrek now two rounds away from sending us to Cassie. Need to remember that you actually heal from running as well, but shooting cancels the run, so it's really hard to be able to time these cooldowns properly. I think Goldtrek's really working his cooldowns a bit better here. There we go, the Prowl now going in, Osrodo running away, the Pounce trying to close the gap here. Was God Shrek, Osrodo, oh, one more dagger will do it! Uh, just a bit of connect. Both of these players now forced to retreat, get the regeneration happening. Osrodo, oh, he eats it from God Shrek. And I think, I just think, Hades, we might be going to round number three here. God Shrek, one frag away. Yeah, two minutes and 20 seconds. I think even if he connected all these kills, it'd be hard to come back from this. But there's a good start in the double frag with the extra damage. Oh, and he finishes him off. Is it possible for him to make this reverse sweep here? Time is the enemy. Two minutes, ten seconds. Four rounds. I don't know. I don't know. All God Shrek needs is one. Three kills in two minutes. It's definitely possible. But he has to play aggressive, and God Shrek has to be also playing aggressive. If he tries and runs, it just won't work. Bounce on, God Shrek hunting for the kill. Pounce connects, eats a couple daggers for his trouble though. Oh, tries with a reset, doesn't find it. Oz Rhino cannot afford oh. to lose one. Oh, he finds God Shrek! 1 minute and 42 seconds. 9 to 7 now on the scoreboard, and Oz Rhino. Can he do the impossible? Can he do it? Time, like we said, is his enemy. God Shrek now needs to get back into the field of play. Does so. This is where the trigger can be pulled by Oz Rhino. Lands two cheeky ones. Two cheeky ones, nice and early. Now they decide to go around the right hand side. And all God Shrek needs to do is just wait and let Ozzy come to him. It looks like he does have enough time though to confirm those two kills. I think he can play it safe and just get these two kills for the draw and then he'll go to overtime. And that'll be the best reverse sweep of the series, and I hope it happens. Was <laughs> Rhino lands two, but he takes some for his trouble. Oh, he gets his own. There we go. Very, very close. He's learning, he's listening, but it was just so close. This game is very tit for tat at the moment. Oh, Rhino needs to be careful. He lands. Oh no, he's got one HP left. Oh, sorry, 200 HP, but one dagger. And Godrek, he's giving chase. He's got the boots on. Will he find oh, it? The connection? There it is. This. 7 to 10 on the scoreboard, and Godtrek is going to send us through to Cassie exactly like Daddy Dearless did before us and New T, but we are not down and out yet, Hades. We've got more coming, more Paladins. I can't wait, but I mean, <laughs> it's so hard to pick a winner. That's how close it is here at the moment. I mean, you've got Kanga up here, and then the rest is just so, so close knit. I love it. I love seeing it. So let's. Oh, Let's get it on. Just bring on Cassie, I say. Bring it on. I think they might actually already be in the lobby because Spectator Client's a little bit behind lives. So mm -hmm. we're booting up the game, checking it out, and hopefully they're ready to go. Let's get that Spectate happening, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know in the chat who you think's going to take this one out. I mean, you've got Spin Me Dingle, a.k.a. Nuti, sitting in that final just waiting, just waiting for somebody. Who do you think is worthy to take it? Is it Godshrek? Is it Oz Rhino? James or Jaquib? Even Daddy DLS, they are the five contenders that are still alive in this competition at the moment to go up against New T. Winner is going to walk away with their choice of peripherals thanks to Cougar from the online store. So, hey, it's not too bad at all. And I think they are in the lobby, ready to go. All right, they are, and they're ready to start here. Cool. There we go. So, ladies and gents, we've got the game number three of this best of three series coming your way.
between Godric and Oz Rhino. We've had a result come through in the other best of three as well. Jaquib has got the victory over James, so he awaits the winner of this match. Will it be Ozzy? Will it be Godric? One round will tell the difference. It'll be Cassie yet again, and we saw some shenanigans in uh, Daddy versus New T. We saw the blast shot actually getting an environmental kill there, catching him off guard a little bit. I wonder if we'll see the same legendaries as well. I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure which the best one would be because so many are being used at the moment due to the recent patch, which um, kind of screwed the dodge roll over a bit and got rid of the lifesteal and effectiveness and also the cooldown on the dodge rolls a bit longer because instead of being able to put four points into the card, they changed the card system. So you get about, instead of 60%, I think it's like 40 or something. So there's a lot of changes to Cassie and if they're not used to it, Godtrick, as you can see, he's level 20, so he's played a lot of Cassie. But if he hasn't played it since the patch, it might not help him out that much. Will he go for that dodge roll legendary? That's the question. Is it still the same? I mean, will he find out the hard way? I mean, 20 versus... Uh, I mean, Oz Rhino, he's got nothing there. That's because Liverpool he is, in fact... Hasn't even player. played Cassie, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so on paper. So on paper, it's not looking good for your boy, Hades. If you had to speak to him right now, if he was in your corner, what tips would you give him? Just dodge. Dodge uh, and run. <laughs> I am I am actually speaking to him in text right now, and the lobby has crashed, so oh, I think we're remaking it. <laughs> there we go. So, okay, we'll get it underway very, very shortly, but man, oh man. Oh. This one. <laughs> this is going, this is great. Like, who would have thought this 1v1 competition would go all the way down to the wire like this? I mean... Nobody, that's who, nobody thought that this would be the case. I mean, everybody thought that it would be, you know, quick one to zeros, quick three, you know, two O's. We've had the first two semifinals and we've gone the whole distance for both of them. So it looks like we're, uh, looks like we're in the game. Hey? I think they might have to remake. I think we hit do a quick break here while we just confirm what's going on and then we'll get back into the action. So it looks as though the blue player was the one that crashed. You can see on screen there, uh, one of the players moving around. So there we go. We're going to go to a quick break while we sort out these issues. Thanks for being so patient. We'll just, this will just be a quick one. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 